Welcome to Oak Mountain Media. My name is Jack Green, and today I have a very special guest, the Associate Band Director here at OMHS, Dr. Travis Bender. Dr. Bender, thank you thank so much you. for joining me today. I appreciate it. As you can see, we're not in the studio today. We're in a special location. Dr. Bender, can you tell us about where we are right now? Yeah, well, what you see behind me is our new performing arts edition for Oak Mountain High School. Uh, this is about 20,000 square feet of rehearsal space for the band and choir programs. Big project, big, big expansion for Oak Mountain. It's about an eight and a half million dollar project and I can't wait to take you inside to check it out. All right, Dr. Bender, let's, let's have the tour. Let's do it, come on. Dr. Bender, tell me a little bit about where we are right now. Absolutely, so this is our main band room rehearsal space in the new building. Uh, this is about a 5,000 square foot room there's a lot of little appendages off of this facility and the thing we're most excited about is all of the storage for our band equipment is not in this room. So this space is solely dedicated to rehearsals. There's going to be a large dividing wall in the middle of the room so you actually can rehearse two different ensembles here at the same time. And as you see there's several upstairs rehearsal spaces as well and kind of up here a really large balcony for us to stand with our staff and teach the marching band so we'll keep checking out all these extra spaces here in just a second all right next thing where should we go next uh let's take you let's go up to the balcony it may be really loud. quick pete Dr. Bender, tell me about the area we're in right now. So our, our marching band has continued to grow, as you know, and uh, this space, we have two of these long balconies. This is designed for our staff to be able to teach the entire marching band in this room. So you can fit about 350 people on the main floor here, and you'll have your directors and other teachers up on the balcony so we can get more done in an inside environment in marching season. All right, sounds good. Ready to continue on? Yes. Let's go back downstairs. Uh, Dr. Minner, can you tell me about what are all these facilities going to mean for the band? What's the improvement going to be like? What it's going to mean for the arts program here? Absolutely. So just to give you an example, if you look down this long, it looks like a hallway or this area behind me. This is where our instrument lockers are going to be. So uh, just allowing us to have more space in the room and store stuff properly is a huge deal for us. We, we've been needing extra space. If, if you've walked down the music wing in the last two or three years, you can tell the choir and the band programs are just kind of exploding with growth and we've run out of places to put things. So uh, just to give you an example, we can store 350 instruments in these two rooms alone, which clears up more space in the main band rehearsal area for us to do our work and get the job done. And can you tell me what's going to happen to the existing choir and band facilities? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, the existing band room is going to become a multi-purpose athletic facility. Mm -hmm. They're still early in the design process for that. So that is phase two of this expansion. But the, the last meeting that I was a, a part of, there was discussions of potentially turfing the band room mm -hmm. floor and using that facility for kind of an indoor practice area for our athletes. The choir room, uh, they're talking about rubberizing the floor and using that for cheerleading, dance, things of that nature. And then the current upstairs band room is going to be converted to a film studio so they can watch video of games after they're completed. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That sounds very exciting for yeah. the future of the school. Absolutely. So you, we talked about the growth of the marching band, and I've heard of the marching band is going to participate in something called the Cherry Blossom Parade. Can you tell me about what that's going to look like and what that is? Yeah, so our marching band was invited to Washington, D.C. The National Cherry Blossom Parade is the third largest parade in the country. On average, there's about four million spectators on the parade route every year. So by far, this is going to be the biggest audience our students have ever performed for. But we're excited to travel up and represent the state of Alabama in our nation's capital. It's going to be a great opportunity for the Oak Mountain Band. That's exciting. I'm excited to see how they do. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for joining me today, Dr. Bender. Sure, thank you, anytime. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tune into all of our socials, all the OAT, MT, and Media. I'm Jack Green, have a great day.